In Foundations of Mathematics, Univalent Foundations is an approach to the foundations of constructive mathematics based on the idea that mathematics studies structures on univalent types that correspond, under the projection to set theoretic mathematics, to homotopy types. Univalent foundations are inspired both by the old Platonic ideas of Hermann Grassmann and Georg Cantor and by the categorical mathematics in the style of Alexander Grothendieck. It departs from the use of predicate logic as the underlying formal deduction system, replacing it, at the moment, by a version of the Martin LOF type theory. The development of the univalent foundations is closely related with the development of homotopy type theory. Univalent foundations are compatible with structuralism, if an appropriate notion of mathematical structure is adopted. History The main ideas of the univalent foundations were formulated by Vladimir Vovodsky in 2006-2009. The sole reference for the philosophical connections between the univalent foundations and the earlier ideas of Vovodsky's 2014 Bernays lectures. A more detailed discussion of the history of some of the ideas that contribute to the current state of the univalent foundations can be found at the page on homotopy type theory. A fundamental characteristic of the univalent foundations is that they, when combined with the Martin LOF type theory, provide a practical system for formalization of modern mathematics. A considerable amount of mathematics has been formalized using this system and modern proof assistants such as Koch and AGDA. The first such library called Foundations was created by Vladimir Vovodsky in 2010. Now Foundations is a part of a larger development with several authors called Unamath. Foundations also inspired other libraries of formalized mathematics, such as the Hot Cock Library and Hot AGDA Library, that developed the univalent ideas in new directions. An important milestone for the univalent foundations was the Boabarki seminar talk by Thierry Cockwind in June, 2014. Main Concepts Univalent foundations originated from the attempts to create foundations of mathematics based on higher category theory. The closest to the univalent foundations were the ideas that Michael Mackay expressed in his visionary paper known as Folds. The main distinction between the univalent foundations and the foundations envisioned by Mackay is the recognition that the higher dimensional analogs of sets correspond to infinity groupoids and that categories should be considered as higher dimensional analogs of partially ordered sets. Originally, the univalent foundations were devised by Vladimir Vovodsky with the goal of enabling those who work in classical pure mathematics to use computers to verify their theorems and constructions. The fact that the new foundations are inherently constructive was discovered in the process of writing the foundations library. At present, in the univalent foundations, classical mathematics is considered to be a retract of the constructive mathematics, i.e., classical mathematics is both a subset of the constructive mathematics that consists of theorems and constructions that use the excluded middlers. Their assumption in a quotient of the constructive mathematics by the relation of being equivalent modulo the axiom of the excluded middle. In the formalization system for the univalent foundations that is based on the Martin LOF type theory and its descendants such as calculative, inductive constructions the higher dimensional analogs of sets are represented by types. The world of types stratified by the concept of H-level. Types of H-level 0 are those equal to the one-point type. They are also called contractible types. Types of H-level 1 are those in which any two elements are equal. Such types are called in the univalent foundations propositions. The definition of propositions in terms of the H-level agrees with the definition suggested earlier by Awodi and Bauer. So while all propositions are types, not all types are propositions. Being a proposition is a property of a type that requires a proof. For example, the first fundamental construction of the univalent foundations is called as contra. It is a function from types to types. 
If x is a type then as contra x is a type that has an object if and only if x is contractible. It is a theorem that for any x the type as contra x has h level 1 and therefore being a contractible type is a property. This distinction between properties that are witnessed by objects of types of h level 1 and structures that are witnessed by objects of types of higher h levels is very important in the univalent foundations. Types of H level 2 are called sets. It is a theorem that the type of natural numbers has H level 2. It is claimed by the creators of the univalent foundations that the univalent formalization of sets in the Martin LOF type theory is the best available today environment for formal reasoning about all aspects of set theoretical mathematics. Both constructive and classical categories are defined as types of H level 3 with an additional structure that is very similar to the structure on types of H level 2 that defines partially ordered sets. The theory of categories in the univalent foundations is somewhat different and richer than the theory of categories in set theoretic world with the key new distinction being between pre-categories and categories. An account of the main ideas of the univalent foundations and the connection to constructive mathematics can be found in a tutorial by Thierry Cochrane, a presentation of the main ideas from the perspective of classical mathematics can be found in the review article by Alvaro Palaio and Michael Warren. See also the article about the foundations library. Current developments an account of Vovodsky's construction of a univalent model of the Martin LOF type theory with values in CAN simplicial sets can be found in a paper by Chris Kapulkin, Peter Lafanu Lumsdane and Vladimir Vovodsky. Univalent models with values in the categories of inverse diagrams of simplicial sets were constructed by Michael Schulman. These models have shown that the univalence axiom is independent from the excluded middle axiom for propositions. Vovodsky's model is non-constructive since it uses in a substantial way the axiom of choice. The problem of finding a constructive way of interpreting the rules of the Martin LOF type theory that in addition satisfies the univalence axiom in canonicity for natural numbers remains open. A partial solution is outlined in a paper by Mark Besom, Thierry Cochrane and Simon Huber with the key remaining issue being the computational property of the eliminator for the identity types. The ideas of this paper are now being developed in several directions including the development of the cubical type theory. New directions. Most of the work on formalization of mathematics in the framework of univalent foundations is being done using various subsystems and extensions of the calculus of inductive constructions. There are three standard problems whose solution, despite many attempts, could not be constructed using CIC. 1. To define the types of semi-simplicial types, H types or category structures on types. 2. To extend CIC with a universe management system that would allow implementation of the resizing rules. 3. To develop a constructive variant of the univalence axiom These unsolved problems indicate that while CIC is a good system for the initial phase of the development of the univalent foundations, moving towards the use of computer proof assistance in the work on its more sophisticated aspects will require the development of a new generation of formal deduction and computation systems. Bibliography Mackay, Michael, First Order Logic with Dependent Sorts, with Applications to Category Theory, Vovodsky, Vladimir, Paul Bernays Lectures, Libraries of Formalized Mathematics, Foundations Library, Hot Library.